You, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. I, John Fitzgerald Kennedy, do solemnly swear. That you will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. That I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. In his speech on that cold January day, President John F. Kennedy moved a nation. His words marked the beginning of a new presidency for America. But for one young man standing only feet away, this young president's words served as inspiration to begin a life of service to others. His name was Harry Lee Anstead, and little did he know at the time where the path he was about to embark on would ultimately take him. Harry Lee Anstead was born in 1937 into a family struggling in the grips of the Great Depression. He was the youngest of six children, raised by his single mother, Loretta, in Jacksonville's Brentwood Federal Housing Project. The Brentwood Apartments didn't offer much, but served as home and an anchor for stability for Harry and his brothers and sisters. Like his brothers and sisters, Harry learned early the value of hard work, raking leaves, cutting grass, and even delivering groceries to help support his family. His was not a life of privilege. As an escape, Harry Lee turned to his strong competitive drive and neighborhood athletics. Childhood friend, Judge Fred Hazuri explained that Harry's leadership and passion for equality and fairness also showed on the playing field. Harry Lee never started a fight, but never walked away from one either. He was a mentor to other kids, always insisted that we play fair, and he never let anyone get picked on. At Jacksonville's Andrew Jackson High School, Harry Anstead was popular, well-liked, and always active in sports or other activities, such as the Senior Fellows Club, the Key Club, and as a sports reporter for the school newspaper. He was a high school success, but Harry was from Brentwood, and the odds of him doing much more were against him. At the end of high school, a new door opened for Harry when his mother Loretta cashed in a $400 insurance policy to pay for his first semester at the University of Florida. Harry would have to work to continue his schooling, but he was the first in his family to attend college. In his freshman year, he took a stab at collegiate sports, running track and cross country. He was also a walk-on on the freshman football team, where he soon learned that it took more than just a competitive heart to succeed. My gosh, my first year at Florida, I, uh, I've got the hell beat out of me out there on the football field. Uh, but it gave me a great deal of uh, pride, and they let me stay in a place called Murphy Hall, uh, which was the closest uh, thing that came to an athletic dorm at the time, and I'm talking about 1956. And so uh, once I got confident that, you know, I can, I can handle this, uh, I discontinued football, uh, where I was uh, too small, uh, too slow, and so on, uh, you know, according to the coach. But I did uh, continue to, uh, to run track and cross country. He received a bachelor's degree in 1960 and was quickly recruited to Washington, D.C. to work for the National Security Agency. It was an exciting time in his life, highlighted by the opportunity to witness the inauguration of President John F. Kennedy, an event that would change his life forever. So I was one of those people uh, standing in the snow and the cold on Inauguration Day in 1961, and uh, I surely was the person uh, amongst the thousands that was in that audience when uh, President Kennedy pointed to me and uttered those famous lines. Ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. It was those words that prompted Harry Lee Anstead to enroll in law school and in 1963, he graduated with his Juris Doctor from the University of Florida. It was in law school that he also met Susan Fisher, a young co-ed who immediately stole Harry's heart. The two fell in love and were married in 1963. With Harry's new law degree, the newlyweds moved to West Palm Beach, where Susan would finish her education and Harry Lee would enter into private practice. It was also where they would begin their family and raised their five children, Chris, Jim, Laura, Amy, and Michael. In 1977, Harry Lee Anstead ran for and was elected to a seat on the 4th District Court of Appeal. 
at 39, he was the second youngest ever to be elected to the Court of Appeal. It was a great achievement for Harry, both professionally and personally. Because I was the youngest of six children, uh, I used to actually worry when I was uh, away at school whether or not I would really get the, the true opportunity uh, to, uh, to pay back my mother for all the incredible sacrifices that, uh, that she had made for me. Uh, when I went on the Court of Appeals, uh, she came and, and held the Bible for me uh, when I was sworn in as a judge of the, of the Court of Appeals. On the Court of Appeal, Justice Anstead is remembered for his many dissenting opinions that were later adopted by the Florida Supreme Court. Justice Rosemary Barquette, who served with him on the Court of Appeal, recalls his great dedication and hard work. Harry Anstead was thorough, careful, thoughtful, and knowledgeable. He is a gentle, sweet man who cares about the law and the people it serves. While on the Court of Appeal, Judge Anstead was the first appellate judge to be awarded a Master of Laws degree from the University of Virginia in a special program established through the American Bar Association to educate appellate judges. In 1994, after four attempts at the appointment, Governor Lawton Childs appointed Harry Lee Anstead to the Florida Supreme Court, where he would serve for more than 14 years. During his time on the bench, he worked to improve the quality and efficiency of the court to include the creation of a central staff of attorneys and the standardization of staff attorney duties. He served on the Judges' Advisory Committee to the American Bar Association's Committee on Ethics and has been recognized by Florida lawyers as the father of modern-day professionalism. He also initiated the Supreme Court Commission on Professionalism and created a permanent center for professionalism at the Florida Bar efforts that received recognition by the American Bar Association as the most significant professionalism initiative in the nation. I, Harry Lee Anstead. In 2002, Justice Anstead took the highest judicial office in the state when he became Florida's 50th Chief Justice. In this role, he worked tirelessly for children's issues and successfully rallied the judicial branch, piloting the state court system through the turbulent waters of court unification and budgetary transition. So, just as I call upon all of you to protect Florida's children, I also call upon you to, pro to protect Florida's court system in this time of transition, especially our trial courts, and to proudly maintain the rule of law in America. What a tragedy it would be if while we are spreading the rule of law abroad, we should neglect it at home. Professional, courteous, dedicated, fair. These are the words commonly used to describe Justice Harry Lee Anstead. Today, we applaud and celebrate the life, career, and legacy of a man who came from humble beginnings to give of himself through leadership and a lifetime of service to others. Today, we honor Supreme Court Justice Harry Lee Anstead.